Hello, my name is Joshua Covington. Uh, I'm a recent graduate from Dev CoCamp, uh, and I'm here to present uh, my application called Marvel Meets. Uh, just a little bit about me. I'm a six-year Army vet. I uh, spent time at Fort Bragg as a uh, signal systems uh, specialist, Red, mainly worked on uh, radio satellite communications. Uh, also did a lot of network engineering uh, and sysadmin type work. Um, made the switch over to software engineering, uh, really when Cisco uh, did their certification conversion, uh, which gave software engineers a lot more hands-on uh, with being able to create their own topologies, automate their own uh, networks. Um, and so I, I, I took that as um, I didn't want my job to be uh, automated. Uh, plus, I was doing a lot of uh, scripting with Python on a lot of switches uh, and routers to be able to back up their uh, configurations uh, in the event of a power outage or anything was to go bad. Uh, so I truly enjoy developing. I truly enjoy uh, solving complex problems, being in my thoughts, and trying to actually get it on paper. Well, excuse me, correction, actually try to get it on screen. Um, so the application uh, that I have in front of you uh, utilizes the MERN stack. Uh, so I have MongoDB and Mongoose uh, uh, technology as far as my, my back end. Uh, utilizing, I'm also utilizing Node.js and Express uh, for the backend uh, for, my, for my API routes, uh, using Axios to uh, make a, uh, API calls, uh, and utilizing React uh, and Bootstrap uh, for the front end. Uh, so let me share my screen and we'll get right to it. Okay, so here we have the login page. Uh, if you don't have an account, uh, then you can click on this register account here and put in your information, first last name, email address, uh, the username that you want to create, uh, password, phone number, and then city and state, along with your favorite superhero. Uh, the city and state is important, uh, and you'll see just why here in a second. Uh, because I already have um, a user, I'm going to go ahead and go back to login and sign in as a user that I've previously created. So here we are on uh, the main page. Um, one of the first API calls that I'm making out is uh, to, Marvel, uh, to the Marvel movie API, where I'm actually getting uh, the next MCU movie that's set to release. Uh, right now it's the Th uh, Thor uh, Love and Thunder releases in 51 days. Uh, so that's, that's my very first API call. Uh, then as you see below, I'm utilizing Mapbox. Uh, this is why your city and state is important. Uh, when you create an account, because uh, I have it set to where I want the map to specifically center uh, directly over the city uh, that you currently reside in. And then right below, we have latest events. Uh, these are latest events that already occurred, uh, but then also, um, you know, you have events that haven't actually occurred yet, will actually render here. Um, and we have our register button and our C event details. Uh, so the register is supposed to allow you to be able uh, to connect uh, with your Google Calendar. Uh, so when you register events, this allow users uh, to be able to uh, maintain and uh, you know maintain all the events uh, that they actually um, that, that they're actually uh, signed up for. Uh, so we can go to the create event page. Here we have our uh, event page where uh, users are able to go in and. Uh, give it an event title, uh, a topic, uh, put in a description of the city and state that this event actually is gonna occur in, the actual address and the event date. Um, so yeah, whether if it's a movie night uh, or whether it's a, um, you know, just a social gathering, uh, this you know event page is one of the main aspects of uh, this application because this allows users to be able to, you know, create all the many different events uh, that they want to create uh, involving around, um, you know, different gatherings or, or, or whatnot. Um, now we're about to go to the next page, the heroes page. This is one of my favorite uh, pages here. It's really blank, uh, but if we go in here and type in Thor, um, boom, it pops up um, uh, a classic uh, picture of the superhero and their origin story. And then right below, we have three comic books. Uh, so these comic books are chosen by random. Um, and the cool thing about it is if you actually want to see more information about uh, this comic book, uh, it would take you to marvel.com slash comics. Um, and with the actual issue number, um, that you can, you know, actually read the comic book if you want to order it 
or uh, just get more information about that comic, uh, you can do so. Um, and then the last thing here we're gonna show uh, is uh, your, your profile page. Uh, here I have the add event uh, button, just in the event where if you will hover over your uh, name and actually wanna create a event, this is another way of being able to do so. Uh, if you click add event, it takes you actually to the add event page. Uh, and then we have the profile page and the logout page. Uh, so we go to the profile page. Uh, here we have our profile picture, first and last name, uh, low, uh, city, state, your favorite hero, and a small bio. Uh, if I want to edit this information, I can do so. Um, so if I wanted to add back in my phone number, I could. If I wanted to change my favorite hero, I could also do so. Um, or uh, let's see, we'll just go in and edit the bio. So I'm an absolute Thor fan to the T. And I also like Hulk very much. So what I'll do is I'll just remove uh, that last statement and just say, I am a Thor fan to the T. Uh, we click the update button and voila, I am an absolute for, uh, Thor fan to the T. Um, so now uh, going back to the homepage, uh, I really wanted to talk about the challenges. Uh, the, cha the challenges with this application was mainly uh, being able to make multiple API calls uh, and have all that information render to the page accurately. Uh, that's been an extreme challenge, um, but I've definitely grown from it and I'm getting better at it. Um, and another challenge uh, involves, you know, some of uh, the features that I'm actually about to talk about. So future, future features uh, that I want to implement uh, here, the very first one I want to talk about is uh, the, the movie releases. To add a little bit more of a touch, I want to make this more of a countdown timer. Uh, so instead of it saying just 51 days or the, the amount of days that's left, I actually want to use this to be able to see the actual countdown. I think that adds a little bit more style and flavor uh, to this feature. And, um, you know, it gives a little bit more exciting excitement for the users to be able to see, oh man, you know, my favorite movie is soon to be able to come out. Uh, the next uh, feature I want to implement that, that I am going to implement uh, with this event search, I want users to be able to put in their city and state, right, and have the actual map uh, hover over that particular uh, area and actually have pinpoints of different events on the map uh, so that a user can hover over it uh, and see the event. And if they want to register, click on the event and see more details, they can, or if they want to register, they can also do so. Um, with uh, the latest events, uh, like I said, one of the challenges has been with the Google uh, APIs, being able to get that connection there. Uh, this register button is solely for users to be able to click on um, and actually uh, um, authenticate with uh, the Google authentication um, and then have that information about the current event go to the user's calendar uh, so the user can you know, see the different events that they have coming up. Also, the C event details. Uh, I want this page specifically be for users to uh, get as much detail, get as much information as possible regarding the event and allowing them to be able to uh, communicate and connect with uh, the, the, the owner of that event. Uh, if they wanted to get more information or if they want to volunteer and help out with the event, uh, they'll be able to do so. Um, and then the very last uh, feature I want to implement is to automatically go ahead and pop up your favorite superhero on this page. Uh, this page is very blank. Um, so the challenge here is just trying to think of a creative way to be able to add more style and features to this page uh, so that it's not so blank. And if you want to see a different superhero, you can just simply go right in the search page, search for that hero, and, um, and that, that information will render. Uh, overall, this has been an amazing uh, um, experience. Uh, definitely had a lot of aches and pains and grown a lot from this. Um, and like I said, the challenge is, is, is making a ton of API calls out uh, and trying to actually have that information rendered to the page. Um, so I know with the, feature, the, the, the future features that I have coming up, um, I want to be able to push this application out to users who are like-minded like me. I'm a huge MCU fan. I love superheroes. Uh, and I want to be able to connect with other people who have similar interests like myself. And that's essentially what this whole application is about. 
is, is simply just uh, uh, a fan favorite uh, meetup uh, event oriented type application where users who are, you know, Iron Man fans, right? All the Iron Man fans can get together um, and watch, you know, their favorite Iron Man movies or um, like myself, I'm a Thor fan. This, you know, Thor Love and Thunder releases in 51 days. I want to be able to create an event and, you know, find friends and other people out there who want to actually go out and watch the movie with me um, or just, you know, make that connection and, and have uh, have an event where we just talk about, you know, uh, our favorite movies uh, involving, you know, Thor. Um, so overall, this has been a great experience. Uh, DevCo Camp has definitely uh, shaped and molded me into the developer that, I, that I'm striving to become. Uh, this application was was very challenging and DevCo Camp definitely pushed me uh, to try to do my very best on this application. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and, and yeah, I thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you have a good one. And um, yeah, guys have a blessed one. Thank you.